everyone. Today I am going to be doing look number 10 of the 25 Days of Christmas series. And um, this is a Jack Frost makeup tutorial, which I'm sorry about the lighting. I know there's kind of like a bit of light that's coming on my face uh, because I'm filming later in the day and the lighting isn't as good as it usually is. So I'm hoping that won't bother any of you. And um, this tutorial will be a longer tutorial, and I'm really sorry, but um, I feel it's very important for me to talk in this one, just because I've been trying to talk in them. But this one is um, so cool and really gorgeous, and so it's going to take a lot of talking and stuff, so I hope you guys can be patient and watch this whole tutorial, because it is really cool and worth it. And um, this is inspired by the cartoon Jack Frost, and... Um, I don't know if any of you guys have seen that. I'm pretty sure everyone has seen it. I mean, it's a classic. It's actually on tonight on ABC Family, like, at 7 or 8 o'clock. So, yeah. Just applying a primer and a base. Uh, it's also inspired by the Jack Frost in the um, new movie. I forget what it's called. It has, like, the Tooth Fairy and Santa Claus and the Easter Bunny. I don't know what it's called. I don't really care either because I don't really want to go see that movie. But, um, anyway. Um, I'm going to take a blue eyeshadow and just fill in my eyebrows really quick. And, um, Jack Frost doesn't have blue eyebrows, but I thought it would be fun. And this one's just kind of shimmery right here. You can use a matte one, but I decided to use one that has shimmers in it. So I'm just going to start at the front of my brow. And then go towards the arch. And the brows will actually have two different blues in them. Okay, so now I'm just going to take this kind of purplish blue color. Hoping you can see that. And then... run through my eyebrow again. Okay, and now for my eyeshadow, like the first eyeshadow I'm going to be using is from Makeup Forever, and it's just a very pigmented silver cream shadow, and I'm just going to dab it on my eyelid, because you don't need too much of this kind. just going to rub it on my eyelid. Because um, Jack Frost has is kind of has like bluish skin, and then he has on like a glittery silver coat, little dress suit, I guess you could call it. So next up, I'm just going to take and this eyeshadow when I was first using it, it it's kind of like a brownish silver, which I was kind of upset about, but I didn't realize it, and that's what I used. So I'm just gonna use it for here. It's kind of like a grayish color. going to apply it over my whole eyelid, like so, and then um, next up I'm just going to take, this is e.l.f. Liquid Glitter Liner in Stardust, it's just shimmery, and this is just kind of going to work as so that the glitters can stick on, so I'm just going to run it across my eyelid, and then dab my finger around. And you want to do this quick because you want the glitter um, that you put on to stay moist. So now I'm going to get the super glittery eyeshadow from my NYX Glitterati palette. And I'm just going to dab it all over my eyelid and into the inner corners. Okay. Okay, now we're going to move on to the blues, and there's a bunch of different blues in this color, so you're going to need a really good crease brush. And the first blue I'm going to want to get is uh, this light shimmery blue, and I'm using like all shimmery blues except for one loose pigment that is matte. And I'm just going to start the lightish blue in my crease. And then after that, I'm just going to take this really dark 
navy blue and then this kind of grayish color. And then just apply those into the crease. And then I'm just going to take whatever's left over on the brush and just put it right underneath my eye. And now we just have a few more blue eyeshadows. I'm going to take, this is from Aroma Leia Pigment. It's called Copen. It's just like a, um, here, let me get it out. It's just like a matte, it's kind of blue color. This is what it looks like. So I'm just going to blow off the excess and then just put it right into my crease. And then um, the last blue that I'm going to do in my crease is this very dark navy blue. It's such a dark blue that it looks almost black on camera. In fact, it does look black on camera, but it's actually just a super dark navy blue. So I'm just going to put it to the outer part. And then blend and then put whatever is extra on underneath my eye okay and now for my highlight color on my eye I'm just gonna take this very light pale blue from my 88 original palette and then just um, take this shimmery blue that we we're using which is from Forever 21 going to mix those two and then just apply it on my brow bone like so and now for my waterline I'm actually using a MAC eyeshadow I'm just going to use a sponge tip applicator this is just a um, MAC eyeshadow in fresh water it's just a really bright blue I'm just going to rub it on it and apply it. Just going to want to gently dab and rub. Okay. I'm just going to touch up my brows a bit. Okay, and now for the liner, I'm just using my e.l.f. Black Liquid Liner. I tried to do the line pretty thin, but I decided just now I'm going to thicken it up a bit, just because I am wearing thick eyelashes. So I'm just going to try to keep it as close to my lashes as possible. And you can add a wing if you want to, I'm not going to though. So, just try to steady your hand as best as possible. Okay, and that should be good. So, I'm just looking to make sure I have it for, Oh, I almost forgot something. I'm going to be taking my Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeliner in Sky Blue. And that just is going to rub to the inner corners. Okay, and I'm just going to add a bit brighter silver to my lid because it's looking a little darker than I would have wanted it. So I'm just taking this silver. Okay, much better. And now I'm just going to take, uh, these are from, these are Japanese lashes. They're just kind of like nice doll lashes, so I'm just going to. Um, try to apply those. My glue has been kind of crazy, like it exploded, so it only pours out from the bottom. But hey, whatever. And this lash kind of dried, curved weird, so I'm super hoping I can get this uh, while on camera. So I'm going to kind of punch a bit, so sorry about that. Okay, and that'll have to do, and while that's drying, I am just going to take the, um, 
this pink blush right here and then mix it with two of the other blushes because we want the cheeks to be dramatic. Just because I figure as long as we're doing dramatic eyes and eyebrows, which I love doing my eyebrows different colors, and I think mine as well. And I'm just going to take, um, I think I use different size gems. Whoops, oh well. I'm just going to take this um, silver gem. Oh no, they're the same size. Good. I'm just going to take it and apply it at the end of my eyebrow. And now I'm going to curl my lashes with the fake lashes. I don't want to be really gentle because I don't want to mess them up. And I'm just going to apply my Ulta Lash Icon Mascara in Jet Black. And I hope you guys are noticing I'm trying to say the names of everything I use since I don't list them in the description box because I'm really lazy. So from now on, I'm going to try to say like the brand and everything of what I'm using. So, you know, just so you guys know. Okay, and the last thing I'm going to want to do is take my um, L'Oreal lipstick in Berry Suede and just apply it to my lips. And you could use a pale lip color, but I just felt like doing a berry one. I don't really know. So, yeah, uh, this look is so dramatic. I love how like crazy this look is because I know this isn't wearable guys so this wasn't supposed to be wearable just so you know for any of your concerns out there. Uh, this wasn't supposed to be natural or wearable. This was just for fun because um, my videos that I've been doing this month have been kind of somewhat wearable and I just really wanted to be dramatic so thank you so much for watching. Uh, look forward to another video posted tomorrow and uh, please subscribe if you haven't and thumbs up this video. Bye guys!